In just six weeks, Idahoans will head to the voting booths to elect a new governor. And as we get closer to Election Day, voters are listening closely to the top candidates. Today, Republican nominee Lieutenant Governor Brad Little talked about the issues during an hour-long radio interview. KTVB's Joe Paris was there to break it all down for us. Joe. Kim, the closer we get to Election Day, the more important candidate interviews get. And some voters have already made up their mind, but others are listening for something to help them decide. Today, the Lieutenant Governor hit the big issues and explained where he thinks Idaho is headed. Right off the top of the interview, KBY Radio's Paul Schneider asked Lieutenant Governor Little about what he thought the biggest difference was between himself and Democratic Governor nominee Paulette Jordan. There's a lot of black and white distinction between uh, our, our positions and her positions, and I'll let the voters determine that, but I mean, I think uh, I probably uh, more representative of the Republican platform, and she's probably more representative of the Democratic platform. That's a good place to start. So, is it that simple? Uh, pretty simple. Among some of the big issues on the November ballot in Idaho is the battle over Prop One, the voter initiative aimed at legalizing historical horse racing gambling machines. This morning, the lieutenant governor reiterated his support for paramutual racing that dates back to his time in the legislature. I carried most of the bills uh, because of what it does for rural Idaho. You know, I represented Emmett, but what it does for Malad and Rigby and Jerome and, and, uh, and, and of course, here in Boise also. So I've always been supportive of paramutual r racing. A big topic Idahoans are invested in is the future of education. Little explained what he thought was one of the biggest needs on that front. For our kids, for me, it's uh, literacy uh, by the end of the third grade, mm -hmm. um, because that's that's where we have an obligation to get all these kids to the starting line at the same level. So whatever we do in kindergarten, first, second, third grade to get these kids reading proficiently uh, is, is a big priority for me. And finally, KBOI Radio's Chris Walton asked Little if he thought there was anything that neighboring states do better than Idaho. The lieutenant governor answered simply saying, yes. We should constantly uh, be making sure that Idaho is at the top of the pack. And, but, you know, in this fast-changing world, sometimes you miss a few things. And so stealing an idea from another state is a, is a great, great thing to do. And to listen to the Lieutenant Governor's full interview, again on radio, uh, KBY Radio this morning, you can check out this story on our website, ktvb.com. And you can also find Democratic candidate Paulette Jordan's full interview from Friday, again on our website, ktvb.com. Kim? All right. And thanks, Joe. Six weeks away, Joe. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm.